What's up? What's up, everybody? Good morning. All right, so today we got dark. <laughs> All right, today I'm gonna be changing my oil. Yeah, changing my oil in my little um, daily driver here. It's a nice little Nissan Sentra. You can see got that one, but I need me a little fuel saver, so got this. All right, so this one front wheel drive. Little Nissan Sentra and time to change the oil. So first you gotta get the oil and I have it so unlock the car. Open it up, unlock the doors. This thing is a nice little thing. Got it powered everything, it all works. <laughs> that was legit. From where I got it from is like oh damn, this thing may have a couple issues. But <clears throat> it's alright. Got that oil. Uses 5W20. My other car uses 5W30. I thought that was interesting. So, alright. Close the door. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So, got the oil. Even got a filter. Oh, we need the oil pan. The oil drip pan. And that's in the trunk. Because I had to take, take it and get it dumped from the last oil I had. Pretty easy to get to. I already took a look. All I really need to do is jack it up, uh, get the, the oil sump plug out, and we going. My toolbox, because I don't know what size it is. All right, so now comes the manual jack. I got me a manual jack. So it is going to take a minute to lift it up, but we got to do what we got to do. We got no jack here. No shop jack here. All right. So here's my, my manual jack right here. And then, how is going? Well, this is only this is one of the manual jacks I have. Like, got the little wrench. So first thing you need to find. I wonder if they come in here. Oh, they stopped. Maybe I gotta go put my dogs up. All right, we're taking a quick intermission. Go bring the, the dogs in. Gotta go bring the dogs in. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, the door, that's how you do that. Open the door. Oh, where they at though? Oh, look at them. Look at them pups. They inside though. Alright, got the pups in. Let's go change this oil. It got dark again. Let's go change this oil. Alright, so I had to switch jacks. Because I had to. Got that guy sitting in the pinch wheel. Alright, I'm jacking up. Slow like manual jack life. Whew. Like with a couple pumps, a normal jack out already been there. Already. Let's 
progress of me so far. All right, up under the car. Ooh. There's the oil pan. I guess we can kind of get to it here, but my thing is I need to get to that, um, that sump plug, which is like, like right there. All right, leaning against the tire. Yeah. You see him? He blowing shit. He blowing shit. It's the oil container. Put it up under there. Yeah, might as well. It's two bucks. in the chin trying to get it off. Ooh, camera angle is probably a bit. So let's see. Look up under the car. Come back to the sump plug. Nah, it's a little bigger than that. That ain't getting it. <laughs> oh man, these camera angles are legit. Alright, so it's not a 13, which is what came on that ratchet. Alright, let's try some more. So, we just try one, one, one or two steps up. Maybe it's a 14 or a 15. Alright, we got a 15 here. Let's see. Oh. Maybe it's a 14, because it seems a little loose. Keep that 15 right there. Right there. In the toolbox if you didn't know. If you didn't know. J 
jacket is not moving, is it? No, not quite. Alright. I'm gonna do a couple more turns and then we'll get back up under there. Ooh, I manual jack life, I swear. You good as a liar car this time anyway. That's one thing you gotta do, you gotta open up your oil drain pan. So you know, the oil goes into it, not just sits on the top, cause that could be an issue. Well, yeah. Yeah, we would've been in some shit there. At least some just oily ass hands. All right, positioning my pan. Right there. And now time for the oil sump plug. Last time I was up under my other car, that shit wasn't it. <laughs> that was some plug did not like me. Alright, let's try this again. Oh. So which way? Which way is that? I don't know. 14 we on there. Maybe that's tightening it. Turning it to the right, I believe so. I must, I know these camera angles must be absolutely amazing. Uh, shoot. Yeah, there we go. You need it on the head? Okay, leaving it on the tire once again. So now, I'm trying to get this plug out. Damn, that bitch ain't moving. Get loud.
letting that oil drain the best you can. I don't know if it likes the angle I jack it up at, but it's the best I got with that manual jack. Right, let's just take a look up under here as well. See that CV axle? See, I got stuff leaking all the way over here. And that CV joint right there. Because I noticed it was making a weird sound on the right side of the car. And, well, now I know why. So... It's all right, it's held together. This thing's a strong little car. And I got it, it had 128,000 miles on it. I mean, it's been legit to me. Got the oil still draining, but here come the dude over here. All right. Well, that was nice. He moved my shit over. All right, we starting to drip. Oil on my hand. Yeah, when I got this thing, you could tell it was just a driver. Straight up driver. Need some suspension too. When I be taking turns, I be leaning like crazy. Now we got the oil just dripping. Good. Let's drink. Just gonna wait till it finishes doing what it does. So. Ah, I'm a glass. Oh, oh, hmm. No, ah. This car was really a driver and it doesn't look bad at all up under here either. I don't hardly see anything that even remotely looks like rust up under here. The suspension looks, well it looks right because I know it needs to be changed. Um, once again I believe one of the major things is that CV axle over here on this side. I got grease dripping from it. So it certainly needs a new one of those. Engine seems pretty legit. It's still dripping on the oil, so I'm just gonna let it finish that. While I'm down here, might as well stay down here <laughs> until it finishes dripping. Mm, but there's a lot of work to be done on this car, so I'm gonna make sure that I'm putting shit together. Because as a car guy, I took a look at this thing online and it cleans up pretty nice. It's an 08, so we'll see what we got with that. Mm. Alright, we at the slow dripping point now for the oil, so I think we about empty here. So I'm going to put the oil sump plug back in and tighten it up. City over here after I did my organizing. Or better yet, these towels right here. Why not? Because they're sweet. For my 
my last oil change. It's one thing I gotta, I gotta do differently. Cleaning up. Alright. Alright, let me get a rag so I can wipe the oil sump down. Oil sump plug. Oops. Drop my rags. While we up under here, we might as well get out the oil filter since we have one. One I got is an STP. Oh yeah. I'm filtering some oil here in a minute. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. So now I'm going after the oil filter, which is about right there. That excellent camera angle work. So, I'm gonna need two hands for that one. May even need to move the oil sump. The oil sump, the oil pan. Gotta get my terms right. coming. There we are. Yeah. Just in case. There we are. This one was an eco guard. Okay. Eco guard. Alright. And where's my box for my STP? Still top position, STP. All right, we go. Oil filter. So let's see. Uh oh, one slightly bigger than the other. We may be in trouble here, folks. But maybe, maybe not. You see the old oil and the new filter. Still got a plastic piece on it. So, let's take the plastic off. I'm gonna cover the new filter bottom with a little bit of oil from the old one. So. And something like that. Set it down. Put my finger. A little bit of oil on there. Just so we can put this on here. Probably get a decent seal. Alright. Cool. So now we're gonna put it back up in there. Put, we'll put the new one in there. We're gonna put the old one back up in there. See if I can get these threads on here. You know you want a thread. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, spin it on there. Tighten it down. As tight as you can get it. All right, so there's the filter. Got the oil drained out. Here's the cap to the oil. I don't know, I feel like it's a little light, but maybe we were just losing a lot of oil. I don't know. 
Like, from what I saw online, this car has a five quart system, but I don't believe that's five quarts. Which that kind of bothers me. But at the same time, we'll see, we'll just be careful when pouring. So, oh, right. Got my rag to wipe off the oil sump. Another thing you would need to do is tighten it down. Ooh. All right, switch the ratchet. I'm gonna take this and it. I wonder the reason why I have very little oil is because I had very little oil in it, or is it because of the angle at which I had to jack up the car? But I don't think that would have stopped five quarts of oil. the sump back on there, get the sump work, got the sump plug back in there, I'll get these terms right one day, I promise, alright, oh. so now we gotta pop the hood, once again, like I said, when I looked it up online, it said this is a five quart system, and I, I don't believe five quarts are in there, so the way it goes, we're gonna have to make some new checks here or do something. And I don't know. Smoke signal, set some shit on fire, I don't know, do something in order to figure this out. Lifting up the hood. Put the hood on my head, because I'm one hand. like any so I mean hopefully that's a decent indication that there's none in there. Take the rag, wipe it down, put it back in there and try again. And pull it back out. It says says we ain't reading shit so Let's see what happens. Let's get the oil plug back in there. Now the oil cap. If I can unscrew the oil cap. Ooh, there we are. All right. So now, of course, we need a funnel. Got me a funnel. Stick my funnel in there. slowly. So I believe it will use this whole entire whole entire five port. So I'll stop because I'm looking. Make sure it is five port. Yeah, five port. I can read kind of. Alright, pouring it in. Going down still. Filling it up, it's going down. Filling it up, it's going down. 
so it's going in there. Well, let's get, hope the oil will go in there. Yeah, hope the oil would go into the car properly. But instead, instead of hoping you make it happen, you make the oil go in there. All right. A little bit left is still going down, so. of the oil is within the engine. All right, and that's the end of the five quarts. under here to make sure we're not losing oil. Nope. Nope. None on the ground except for that spot where, where I had some on my hand, I believe. Okay. So now we're going to take the funnel out. Cool. Place the funnel over here on the oil drip pan. And tighten it back down. can put the cap there we go you put the cap you gotta put it all right put it in there a couple of oil drips from the wind because the wind was blowing oil moving everywhere all right and now time to check with the dipstick here what do we got i believe that means we have oil but hold on We don't have oil. I'm just kind of curious. Where did it go? I know I poured it into the car. It's not on the ground. All right, put it back in there. What else have we got? Oh yeah. I believe that means we're full. Like we're, we're excellently full right there. So put it back in. Move all the tools and stuff from the car set it down. Come on. There we go. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. So now let's move the tools. Everything is under there. Check. Get everything out here. So now we're going to lower the car back down. And start it. That's what you do with the oil in it. Start it. But still, wonder where did all that other oil go? I guess it's not leaking immediately. But man, wow. There was very little oil in the car. So that was not five quarts that came out of it. For certain. But either way it goes. Time to lower it. It's a strong little thing. Ain't it? Oh. 
<laughs> we can keep the wrench on the jack. Whew. Already, that's already. Yeah. All right, so finished lowering the car down. Uh, there it is on the ground. So now let's close the hood. <laughs> So once again, don't see no oil on the ground, nothing leaking out by the filter. Car took all the quarts of oil from the five quarter. So now, put the hood prop down, close the hood. Put the jack and stuff down, I got it in my hand. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> Alright. Alright. Alright, okay, so that's pretty much it. Now all the dude has to do is start up and not blow up. Then that means we did it right. I think. Or it blowing up means we did it right. I don't know, I can't tell. Anyway, we'll see. Alright. in the car, push the clutch in. Yeah. All right, we started. Just gonna let it sit there and idle. And pop the hood again, just to look, because you know, you can definitely see the oil moving when you pop the hood. <laughs> oh, where's the, <laughs> where's the thing? Where's the, there it is. So now it's gonna go around the car and look. Got the hood open. You see nothing leaking down by the filter. Nothing up here leaking. Engine is like it's, it's kind pretty smooth. Close the hood. Looking under the car. No oil. Successful change. All right, all right. So I want to thank you all for watching. More content to come soon. Have a great day, but always make sure to lead yourself to your greatest victory, because that was a win today. All right, peace.